Hi everybody, my name is Connor McDonald. This is how you get in touch with me via Twitter, and this is my blog. I'm one of the developer advocates inside Oracle, trying to make your life more productive and successful as a developer. This is the next of the KISS series of videos, keeping it simple with SQL, focusing on partitioning. These are short two minute sessions with a strong developer focus because partitioning is often seen as the realm of the DBAs. In this session, we'll take a first look at some of the benefits you can have from partitioning, the key of which the developers is performance. Let's create a table called sales. It's got a timestamp, sales ID, and the amount of each sale. So we're gonna record sales as they come in as transactions. You can see that this table is not partitioned. Now we're gonna populate that sales table with a lot of data. The way I'm doing it is using a trick that we use to select one from dual connect by level less than 10,000. That generates me 10,000 rows. I've replicated it there, so that will actually generate me 10,000 times 10,000. That equals 100 million rows, but I've capped it at 6 million rows. That'll give me effectively one row for every five seconds from 2010 all the way through for a year of data. What if the question then comes for that sales table? What is the highest sales cost June and July? We have to do a query like this. Select max amount from the sales table where the timestamp is bounded by the 1st of June and less than the 1st of August. And we can see that the maximum sale was actually a sale of $20. Right at the bottom, you can see the amount of work that was done to satisfy that query. Just under 19,000 consistent gets or logical IOs. Now that's quite expensive. Maybe an index is what we need to speed that query up. Let's put an index on the timestamp column create index sales IX on sales. Now when we rerun our query, you can see it's a little bit better. It's gone from 19,000 consistent gets down to 6,000 consistent gets approximately. That's pretty good, but one of the issues with using an index for this style of query is we're still scanning a lot of data. We're scanning two months worth of sales data. Let's now recreate the demo with partitioning. We'll partition the sales table. So here we have the same syntax as we saw in the first video, partitioning by range, We've got 12 partitions, each one occupying one month of data. Now I'll insert the same rows again, six million rows spanning the whole year from January through to December, and ask the same question. June and July sales, what's the highest amount? Now let's turn on our auto trace again. This time we've dropped down to only 3,000 consistent gets, and I didn't have to incur the overhead of that index as well. Why? One of the things we can do with partitioning is a concept known as partition pruning. And what that means in a nutshell is the fastest way to do work is to not do it at all. And with partitioning, the optimizer is smart enough to work out if possible it can avoid scanning partitions altogether. So in this case, we only look at June and July's data. We actually bypass all the rest of the data entirely. We'll talk a lot more about that in later sessions, but in the next session, we're going to cover multi-column range partitioning. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you all again soon on the KISS principle, keeping it simple with SQL.